building will crumble to dust, and you with it.
too much fun now. After this shoot, we're on vacation. It's urgent. I only need you for two hours. All right, I'll pick up the tab for your vacation. Well, I could run into a small porch. Don't remind me. Let's go. Okay, Rick. Wrap it up. No. I will not endanger my son. It's all right, Dean. Better in the line. Look, it's smaller than a dime. There's a range of two miles. They won't even know. Standard, this is not the first time we've done this. They know what they're doing. No. Now you do what they said. Well, this is the way we work. You'd better know what you're doing. Well, there's your historical marker. It's pretty quiet. Just how I like it. Oh, 
were doing all along. God knows what they're going to do to Stephen. You should have done what they said. We would be no better off than we are right now. Now, why don't we just wait for the next call? Dean, there's nothing more we can do. You're right. We have no choice. Should have done what I said. You got the money. Should have never put a transmitter in the bag. That was a mistake. I had bad advice. Unfortunately, you pay for it. Sorry, Senator. Your son is dead. required to check out the beach the girl camping this must be somebody's idea of a joke no joke they got away with half a million dollars and they didn't hold you against your will well, it was held plenty not against my will how long were you gone about a week who was this girl sonia valero she's a nice girl goes to a private school you know uniforms and the whole bit she has nothing to do with this do you have her address, a picture? Yeah, but leave her out of it. Now, wait a minute. I was just taken for half a million dollars, and you were never even in danger? Sorry to disappoint you. You people let this happen. Now, you're responsible for the loss of $500,000. Now, wait a minute, sir. You're supposed to be professional. They acted exactly as I expected them to. If you'd brought me real agents instead of these fashion plates, none of this would have happened. And the money... Their clothes alone could pay for half the school lunches in my state. We don't have to listen. Look, I'm sorry you feel the way you do, Senator. But I'm even sorry for your constituents. I'm sorry. You're off the case. Obviously, the thing is to recover the money. No, I think the best strategy would be to lay back. How long? For a while? For well, how long is a while? A month? A week? How long? Indefinitely. Excuse me, I have an appointment. In the meantime, what are your plans? I think I'm going to go take a nice, long, hot bath. How about you? Oh, I think I'm going to do some uh, beach comments. Check. Let's hand me paperwork.
Well, this is where you go to take a bath. This is where you go to beach con? Well, I just come my way over here. Me too. Look. Spence Sheryls. Which explains why that ambush didn't tear us to pieces. Blank. Yeah, I do not. Oh, just a while. Now, point is, why would anyone stage an ambush with blank? Kidnapping without a kidnapping? An ambush without bullets. Someone's having a marvelous time at our expense. <laughs> coming in, Sue? Uh, well, we're kind of on to something. You're not investigating again, are you? No, no, we're just watching some people more than others. Good, because Henry would hit the roof if he knew you were back on the case. Well, we're not. Listen, Rick, um, check the embassy for me, uh, Sonia Valera. Seven, Avenida Bonifacio. Right, got you, got you. And, Rick, it's very important. Do not tell Henry. Uh, look, Henry was looking for you. He wants to buy us dinner tonight at 8 o'clock. Henry wants to buy dinner, I think. Probably feels like a heel. Yeah. We've got to go, Rick. Uh, tell Henry, yes, we'll make dinner. Bye. Oh, um, cool girl. Maybe she just a different way for different men. Under these circumstances. I thought she was in jail. 
Yes, so did I. As you can plainly see, I am not in jail. You are. But do sit down and let's chat for a moment. That's better. I hope you've enjoyed my little theater of the mind. Of course, by now you understand that I paid Sonia to lure Stephen Chisholm away in order for me to go to work on Senator Chisholm to bring you here. You might like to think of all of this as the house that Jack built. Speaking of houses, there's TNT planted throughout the foundation of this charming building. In exactly one hour, it will crumble to dust, and you with it. So goodbye, darling. The clock is counting. Have fun. <laughs> long enough for you to understand the meaning of time in prison. How dare you send me to prison? How dare you? You'll pay for it for the next 11 hours till the building goes up till you die. So enjoy yourself, darling. No hard feelings. The rest is the twist. Again. No, she's not. 
I know too well. <laughs> That's right. You know it well. This is what we get for what you got. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Okay. This is a as good a way to go as any. Why the black widow come into my Stop. web? Please don't. Send the spider to the fly. Stop my head! Stop it. No! Stop it. No! Right now! No. Stop it! No! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Help me. Concrete. Keep looking. Sonia, how good to see you. I did what you said. And they're locked up time? Yes, they are. Mm, good. Excellent. You pay me now? Yes, of course, Sonia. You get what's coming to you. Go on, get her, get her! Sure did, and you told him that we'd be here. That's what I said. They're doing this deliberately. Well, they They're trying to like punish me. This is absolutely oh, childish. I tell you. Oh, no, no, I don't want to tell you. No. Listen, when you call them, did you tell them where we were? Look, don't worry. They'll be here. You know how they are. Just work your neck, Henry. Come on, work your neck. Oh, well, what the heck? What's the next?
It's the fella teaching me. Yeah, she was a master weaver. She saved my Lelouch dress. That's the one that Mark gave me for our second anniversary. You're going to read me an entire dress book. Helen Carter. Helen. Oh, that's terrible. What? I forgot Alan Carter. Oh, that's sad. He meant so much to me. I just forgot him. He's my first lover. <sighs> Do you remember your first lover? Why don't you keep reading? Astrid Bagelman. Oh, there's a genius. She's my psychic. Your psychic? <laughs> mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? What does she read? Tea leaves and crystal balls? She happens to be brilliant. She has a PhD. She's written four books. She's a fellow at the Dorchester Institute for Parapsychology. Parrot psychology? <laughs> such a jerk sometimes. <clears throat> Sarah Tisdale. I'm supposed to have lunch with her on Thursday. She won't even be in real on Thursday. Not only in New York, it's a colony. <laughs> doing this for anyway. I'm going to be anywhere on Thursday. Why don't you sit there and act like nothing's going on? This relentless optimism is getting old. Why don't you just admit it? In a few hours, we're going to be dead. I'll do it. I didn't know you knew Cohen. Are you kidding? After two hours of did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, I'll never forget it as long as I live. Sorry. Trying to get a fix on our signal. Look, we cannot stop. Do you want me to have to go? No. I don't no. mind. I'm fine. Oh, no! What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Well, you must have done something. You bailed it. The dancing mom blew up in my face. God. you something. What? Forget it. Hmm? Now, you understand that uh, I never violate a confidence, and if I do it in this case, it's their own fault. What are you talking about? Look, enough is enough. I'm not going to sit here and wear my stick. Wreck. They're out there snooping, Henry. Snooping? Only the them thing. I told them to stay away from that. I know. You I know. They're in some kind of trouble? Well, I'm trying to convince myself they just forgot about dinner. Forgot? They don't forget. They never forget anything. Did you check the hotel? What's up? Do you have any idea where they happen to be? Well, the only thing is they asked me to find out what I could about Estonia Valera. Now, I don't know if it means anything. Mr. Calder? Yes? Mr. Calder, telefono. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. This is Henry Tower speaking. A ham operator... Heard what? Until my husband was killed, I thought I'd live forever. Not me. No? But I thought it'd be a lot more fun than this. Yeah. Who's this is? I gave it to him for our second anniversary. It's beautiful. Thanks. What was he like? Mark? Oh, he was bright. He was funny. He made me laugh all the time. 
And he was incredibly attractive. Stop by me. <laughs> but he wasn't afraid to get close to someone. Doesn't sound like me. Have you ever loved anyone? Not really? Ah, uh, no. Nothing serious. How about your family? My mother and sister were killed in the car accident when I was four. Oh, yeah. No. And with my father, there was always work to be done. I guess I owe it all to sheep did. What? Well, I was 16. I was cleaning out the sheep did. God, it stunk. <laughs> we had an argument. He stormed off. Later that night, I went to his room to say goodnight. He was alone. He always was alone. I just wanted to...
could have rained the door
Oh, we'll be waiting. Oh, give me a cigarette, darling. No worries. <laughs> this is getting to be a habit. Look. What I found. Half a million dollars. Jack, about what happened in that room. Um, Look, I understand. We were both under a lot of pressure. Oh, uh, that's not what I mean. Well, what do you mean? Well, it's, it's about the watch. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say this to you, but... Um... Look, I understand. I know how important it is. And you're glad that I have it. Not exactly. Well, Jack, I'm going to have to ask you to give me the watch back. Uh, I, 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 I know you understand why, but it just... Why, because we're both still alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Give it to me. Thanks. Does that mean we're not going to study? <laughs> <laughs> Doubleheader on CBS Sports. The New York Knicks meet the Boston Celtics, followed by the Portland Trailblazers against the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh -huh.